Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health bringing you another episode of Science Powered Fitness. Today we're talking about the Davies Path of Least Resistance or Davies Law. And in a nutshell, Davies Law basically states that soft tissue will model based on the lines of force that act through it. So it means that the tissues will become denser or stronger based on how the vectors of force act through the structures. And the way that we train or the way that we recruit muscles is going to determine uh, really how those force vectors act through the tissues and, and how they become adaptively short or dense or stiffer. And the idea here is that um, if you sub, uh, subject tissue to a stimulus, the body will supercompensate and create an adaptation. It's pretty cool, right? We see that with bone spurs, like on bunions, right? We'll see that as like a a generation of additional tissue from like a callus, so more of the uh, epithelium, right? So again, you'll, you'll see that in scarring, scar tissue formation. Again, it'll form to protect. And then we got muscle densities or fibrosis, where the body will lay down more scaffolding proteins like fascia to support the structure. It's gonna happen at attachment points like tendinopathy where you have a tendon overgrowth because of excessive tension on the tendon. That's a connective tissue, soft tissue as well. So there's all these things the body is prepared to do to help support the forces acting through it when they're dominant and they trigger an adaptation. That's called the general adaptation syndrome okay, or cycle. So the body will adapt to the, the forces put through it. Now, what's important here is that we have motor biases in our body and we at Fluid talk about asymmetrical predisposition, how the body has asymmetry in its just foundation. So the viscera are disp dis displaced to one side, the way that our body operates from a, a cortical motor balance. Um, most of us are left cortical biased, so that means we use the rights of our body more than the left, and we see that in the histories or the, the research on strength, male-female populations, independent of age, they're all stronger on the right side. So we see that there's predispositions and the body will mold and take on the form to try to evenly distribute the force. And part of this path of least resistance is the body will defer to trying to optimize the leverage to get the weight to be more efficiently supported, the force more sufficiently supported through the body. And oftentimes that will defer the body towards its dominant motor profile. So it'll start working uh, or using the muscles that it's more accustomed to using. And once again, that can start this cycle of adaptive compression and overuse and scarring with the fascial tissue and it can get it really dense and stiff and it can hold these joints in, in a hostage position. So it doesn't want to relax, release that tension. And so we end up with movement imbalances because our tissue is literally dragging our joint structure. So again, it's, under, um, it's important to understand what's really happening physiologically, that there is a principle to this, it's the Davies Law, it's just the body's always gonna try to take the efficient route. Sometimes it's not in our best interest, and sometimes it can create movement imbalances, muscle uh, tension imbalances, and that can create some um, impairment and maybe even some injury down the road. So once again, just remember guys, we gotta get our ha hands around that, and assessments are really our tools to determine how that's interacted or how our body's interacted with the forces, length tension, um, strength relationships. We can test all that and figure out what's really happening and then resolve it through, again, structured, organized forces through the body so that we can build up the tolerance, the morphologic qualities and the densities in the other areas that might be compromised. So questions on all of this, make sure to reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Remember, when you learn more, you know more, you can practice more efficiency and you'll get better outcomes. So keep up the learning. Um, and stay after it. Remember your body's designed to move, stay in motion. We'll see you soon.